Hello friends. How much do you love the people around you? When you say I love you, is this a love with conditions? Or is this a I love you today but not so much tomorrow? Imagine waking up in the middle of the night to the odor of smoke and the flickering light of fire. You quickly jump up and cry out for help and someone responds. They smashed through your door and lead you to safety. But you later learn that your hero died while protecting others. Would you be grateful that your life was spared even though the sacrifice was great? Well, St. John 15 tells us, Greater love has no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. The context of Jesus' comment in this verse demonstrates that he is not just referring to the physical body, but that as Christians, we must abide in him, which involves replicating his love. Simply put, as Christians, we have no right to avoid those things that Christ was willing to do for others. Laying down one's life is an attitude and not just an action. We are to love others as Christ loved us and be humble with it too. Christ washed the feet of his disciples without even a murmur because he loved them and loved them without conditions. Even when he already knew one would deny him and the other would betray him. He loved them anyway. As Christians, our love is not intended to be saved up and displayed only through big gestures. Truly loving others by laying down one's life entails abiding in Christ's love in a consistent moment-by-moment -moment basis. I am glad I have access to God's agape love. Loving others is easy to understand but may seem hard to apply. But friends, the application is what is important. I challenge you today, stop doing lip service. Stop saying you love others, but you aren't showing any form of love in action. Christ displayed his love for us on Calvary's cross. It's time to show your love too. No more loving others with conditions. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for loving me unconditionally. Thank you for showing us how much by dying to save us your children. Lord, help us to have a heart like yours so we can love others without conditions and stipulations. Forgive us when we allow petty annoyances to distract us from the gospel of your word. Strengthen and equip us to love each other as you love us. In your name I pray. Amen. Until next time friends, walk good.